Coming up, he could state when the government intends to address this issue. Briefly, uh, to speak to Amendment 68 uh, in the name of the Noble Lord, Lord Whitty, to which I attached my name, uh, and a couple of other comments on this group. Um, the group from the um, amendment from the Noble Lord, Lord Whitty, um, I think I can probably predict some of what the, the, the uh, Noble Lord the Minister was going to say. So I will note that the House, I'm sure all members of the House have noted that three days ago the government announced £30 million um, to for experimental or first stage projects of uh, renewable storage. Um, we've got pumped thermal, we've got um, thermal and compressed air, um, we've got a number of different schemes. But I think what's really important now about this amendment is the context of the report to Parliament in six months. And this is something that is so absolutely crucial to the renewables transition that we really need to see democratic oversight of where this is going. And I would particularly make the point that this actually has to be a strategy, um, one-off projects here and there. What we need is a whole integrated system. And I particularly point out what's really under-considered is the fact of vehicle-to-grid storage, that as we have more and more electric cars, if we have the innovation in management, uh, we can actually use those as storage when people don't need them for transport. And this is a way in which we you know, need much less resources. And I note that the government itself is saying that we could save £10 billion by 2050 by reducing the need to generate um, energy, electricity. Um, just a couple of comments on the other amendments. It won't surprise anyone in your Lordship's House to um, say that I oppose Amendment 137 in the name of the Noble Lord, Lord Ravensdale. But I think its very existence is a demonstration of the way in which new nuclear can be a distraction from the renewables investment that is our energy future. And on the amendments in the name of the Noble Lord, Lord Teveson, about uh, electrifying and decarbonising oil and gas facilities, I'm afraid the phrase greenwash does really have to appear at this point. Uh, I have a later amendment saying no new oil, gas or coal, and any reduction in use on a new oil rig, because it's got some solar panels on the top, does not take us anywhere like where we need to go in this climate emergency.